thank you so much for joining me for Family Storytime. My name is Caitlin and I work at EVPL Oakland. For this story time today, we're gonna need a scarf for some activities at the end. So if you don't have a scarf at home, you can use just a small dishcloth or a small blanket or something like that. You can also get scarves in our story time to go kits, which can be found at every location. Inside the kits, you get a scarf, you get a shaky egg, you get a bean bag, you get some bubbles and also some resources for parents and caregivers to help their child with our story times. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna sing our hello song. It's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story and you really want to show it, if you're ready for a story, take a seat. Great job! So our story time today is all about colors. What's your favorite color? Can you name all of the colors of the rainbow? So after this story time, I want you to look around your house or outside or wherever you go about your day and I want you to see if you can find your favorite color out in the real world. Might be a little fun activity to do after the story time. So before we get to our book, we're gonna sing just a little song about colors and it's to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Red and orange, green and blue, shiny yellow purple too all the colors that we know live up in the rainbow red and orange green and blue shiny yellow purple too great job and that's the colors of the rainbow so let's go ahead and sing that again Red and orange, green and blue, shiny yellow, purple too. All the colors that we know live up in the rainbow. Red and orange, green and blue, shiny yellow, purple too. Great job! That's a fun song to sing. So our story for today is by Michael Hall and it's called Red, a crayon story. Do you notice anything different about red? Yeah, he's actually blue. He's got a red covering, but the crayon itself is blue. So let's find out what happens. This is kind of a strange story. So when you get books from the library, a fun thing you can do before you actually read the words is to go through and look at the pictures and have your child just describe what they see happening and what they think the story is about before you actually read the words. And that's a great way to practice their narrative skills, which will help with their reading comprehension later. And you can also see how close you were to the actual story, see if the pictures match the words and if you can tell what's going on in the story. That's just a fun thing that you can do. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And it says, he was red. But he wasn't very good at it. And Olive says, oh dear, what did red draw? Certainly isn't a red fire truck and <laughs> it looks like a blue one. See some ladders here? Oh dear. His teacher thought he needed more practice 
and his teacher Scarlett says, I'll draw a red strawberry, then you draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. Do you think he'll be able to? Hmm, let's see. But he couldn't really. And he says like this, and Scarlett says, oh my, let's try again. What color did he draw the strawberries? Yeah, blue, and they're definitely not blue in real life. His mother thought that he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? And yellow says, a really big one. And red says, a really orange one. So yellow and red are gonna try and draw an orange. What do you think's really gonna happen? What color do we get when we put yellow and blue together? Do you know? Ah, they get green. They were trying to make orange, but they got green instead. But they really made a big greenish one. Yellow says, yuck. And red says, oops. Red tried. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Silver says, your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Gray said, nice, it's so you. That's just like grandparents, always thinking you're not warm enough, right? But it so wasn't. So they drew self-portraits and Red drew his self-portrait, but what color is it really? That's right, still blue, still blue. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Amber says, sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Hazelnut says, don't be silly. It says red on his label. Cocoa Bean says he came that way from the factory. Fuchsia says, frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Grape says, well, I think he's lazy. Army Green says, right, he's got to press harder. Steel Gray says, really apply himself. Sunshine says, give him time, he'll catch on. And Sea Green says, of course he will. Do you think Red is lazy or just not trying hard enough? I don't think so. But he didn't catch on. Green draws a green frog. Black draws a black sheep. Brown draws a brown cow. And red draws a red, I mean, blue ant. Oh boy. All the art supplies wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. And the pencil, I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. So they put tape on him, they loosened his label, they sharpened him. I don't think any of this is gonna turn a blue pencil red though, but let's see. But even with all our help and all his hard work, what's happening? That's right, it's still blue. And what did he draw? Do you recognize the shapes that he's drawing? We've got hearts and cherries and foxes and toenail polish, all of which can be red, should be red, but it's just not working out. He just couldn't get the hang of it. Oh. And what, what are the colors of a traffic light? Do you know? Yeah, it's red, yellow, and green, not blue, yellow, and green. Oh, geez. One day he met a new friend and this is Barry. And Barry says, will you make a blue ocean for my boat?
And Red says, I can't, I'm Red. And Barry says, yeah, but will you try? And so he did. And Barry says, thank you, it's perfect. And Red says, you're welcome, it was easy. So Red did something right. Red made a blue ocean. And he didn't stop there. And he finally figured out that he's blue. And look at all the blue things that he's drawing. We have blue bells, which is a flower. We have a blue bird. We have blue jeans, blue berries, and a blue whale. And he did all of those himself. He was blue and everyone was talking. Olive says, my son is brilliant. Amber says, who could have known that he was blue? Hazelnut said, I always said he was blue. Cocoa Bean said, it was obvious. Barry said, his blue ocean really lifted me. Sea Green says, all of his work makes me happy. Brown says, his blue strawberries are my favorite. Apple Green says, he's so intense. Yellow says, I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. Gray says, I hear he's working on a huge new project. And Scarlet says, he's really reaching for the sky. So now that he has said that he's blue, everyone's talking about it. And it was obvious that he's been blue all along instead of red, no matter what the label said. And he really was. And now what did he draw here? A sky, a blue sky. Very good. The end. Well, that was so nice. I'm so glad that he figured out that he was really blue all along. That's so good for him. All right, let's go ahead and get out our scarves. We're gonna say a little chant about the weather with our scarves. And what color is my scarf today? That's right, it's yellow. All right, so first we're gonna wave it around on the ground. Rain on the grass, wave it up high. Rain on the trees. Rain on the roof, hold it above your head but not on me and drop it. Good job. Sun on the grass. Sun on the trees. Sun on the roof, hold it above your head, but not on me. Good job. Leaves on the grass. Leaves on the trees. Leaves on the roof, but not on me. Snow, ooh, it's getting cold out there. Snow on the grass, snow on the trees, snow on the roof, but not on me. Oh boy, here comes a lot of wind. Wind on the grass. Wind on the trees, wind on the roof, but not on me. Great job. What other weather can you think of that we could have? Hmm. We could have lightning. We could have hail. Mm hmm. Or we could even just have a nice soft breeze. Good job. So our next rhyme is called Little Bo Peep. So take your scarf or your dishcloth or whatever you may have at home and scrunch it up, scrunch it up real tall, real tiny, real tiny, real tiny. Make it disappear and hide it. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and she doesn't know where to find them. But if you leave them alone, they'll come home wagging their tails behind them. Great job. All right, let's do it again. Scrunch it up, scrunch it up, hide it somewhere else. 
little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and she doesn't know where to find them. But if you leave them alone, they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Good job. All right, one last time. Scrunch up, scrunch up. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and she doesn't know where to find them. But if you leave them alone, they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. Great job. All right, wave them up high. Wave them down low. Wave them really fast. Wave it really slow. Now wave them goodbye. Goodbye, scarf. Well, thank you so much for joining me for another family story time. You can check out all of our other story times on Facebook and YouTube at EVP Library. Also make sure that you are signed up for our summer reading program at evpl.org and make sure that you participate. You'll get entered in to win prizes and there's weekly prize drawings this summer and all ages can participate too. So you and your grown-ups can participate together. All right, let's go ahead and say our goodbye song. Let's get a rhythm going. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Good job. What's the opposite of loud? Right, it's quiet. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet. Good job. Now we're gonna put on our really high squeaky chipmunk voices. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. Goodbye! <laughs> Good job. What's the opposite of up high? That's right, it's down low. Put on your real deep voice. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. Good job. All right, last set. Now we're gonna go as fast as we can. Whew, shake it up, shake it up. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Good job. What's the opposite of fast? That's right, it's real slowly. Let's go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Good.